Welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida, where we make hard candy. Baby, it's cold outside. I got to go away. Nina, it's cold outside. Well, it's Christmas time, and I decided that I would try something I've been having trouble with over the years. Ribbon candy. So as I pour my food coloring into the hot sugar, boil out all the excess water to keep the candy from being sticky, I should tell you I've tried this for many years. Every Christmas I go and I try to hand make ribbon candy, or I pull out one of my old metal machines from the 1880s, 1890s, and they just don't work. I'm missing parts, and these have been particularly hard to fix up. But I just got a new machine, and I can't wait to get it out of the box. Today I'm going to make cherry ribbon candy, and I'm going to do it in the same traditional colors we do our candy canes in, red and green. So when I unboxed the machine, I didn't quite know what to expect. I'd never touched one of these before. This is actually an older version of a ribbon candy machine than I currently own. It's very, very simple, and I was hoping that simplicity would win in this case. I was told it was made by Thomas Mills, but you never know until you open these up to see what you really get. The bulk of the machine is cast iron. It's very simple, but it has a cast iron trough, and then on it is mounted two gears that are made out of wood with a little ceramic handle. It's beautiful in its simplicity, and on the wood is stamped to the Thomas Mills logo. It was in remarkable condition, and all it took was a little sanitizing and cleaning and polishing, and it was ready for candy action. And the candy is ready too. It gets cut apart, into the different colors and then fold it on the table. This is to average the temperatures of the candy. There are cool bits where it touched the rail on the bottom that are cool enough to touch and hot bits that are still liquid. We need all the candy to be about the same temperature throughout. So we fold it on the table, letting the hot bits cool and letting the hot bits warm up the cool bits. One of the things I love about our new location is we were able to put the candy table out so I could access it from multiple sides. This candy table was designed to be walked around, and in our old location, we only had access to one side of it. It made things kind of difficult at times. I've had what to me was a surprising number of requests to slow down the videos, to put in more pulling and the candy melting. So I'm going to try this this time and see what you guys think. You've really been great. Oh my God, I lost my head. you see? There's bound to be talk Thinking tomorrow. my life will full of sorrow. At least there will be plenty in You can catch a pneumonia and I really can't food. stay. Oh, but it's cold. Now it's time to use the hook. We pull the candy to change the amber into white. You better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah. You get a list. He's checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're away. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. <laughs> better watch out. You better. Better not cry. You better. Better not pout. Yeah. I'm telling you why. All right. Santa Claus is coming. Oh, 
If you're interested in our candy, you can get it for yourself at www.pd.net. And if you're ever in Tallahassee, you can visit us here at Lofty Pursuits. We look forward to seeing you. The construction of the candy itself for making the ribbons is very different than for the image candy we make or for the drops. We don't make a log and we don't make a rod. We make a flat piece that has stripes going all the way through it. And then we scale it down into the ribbon we all know and love. And what about this ribbon? Why is ribbon candy even made in the first place and what made people do it? There's a lot of arguments about this. If you read on Wikipedia, it talks about it being invented up in the northeastern United States. But that's actually the machine that makes it. It was made for many years, at least a century before the machines were made to automate the process. It was made by walking the ribbon of candy between the fingers of the candy maker. And that's actually very difficult as I've discovered through my many failed attempts. What this is, is a variation of a Christmas ornament. If you go back to the late 1700s and the early 1800s, people decorated for Christmas, but they decorated with things they had. And one of the decorations they had were bright colors of ribbons, little snippets, little scraps. And they would turn these with the use of a thread and a bead or some other things into a Christmas ornament. And this Christmas ornament was pretty. So the candy makers started decorating their shops, but they started decorating their shops with the candy version of this. Now the story may be apocryphal, but it's a story I kind of like. And I'd like to think that I could decorate my shop with this candy. But the candy comes out beautiful and thin and wavy. The thing that amuses me is if you go onto Etsy or the other sites, you're going to see people selling ornaments made to look like ribbon candy that are made like the ornaments that ribbon candy was made to look like. It's all very meta and circular nowadays. But the candy is delicious no matter which way you go. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the new bird, here to stay is the new bird. He sings a love song as we roll along, walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, are you married? We'll say, no man But you can do the job when you're in town Later on we'll conspire As we dream by the fire To face unafraid the plans that we made Walking in a winter wonderland Pretend that he's a circus clown We'll have lots of fun with Mr. Snowman Until the other kid is knocking down When it snows, ain't it thrilling? Though your nose gets a chilling We'll frolic and play the Eskimo way Walking in a winter wonderland Yes, we're walking in a winter wonderland. I'm 
dreaming tonight of a place I love even more than I usually do. And yet I know it's a long road back. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. Please have snow and mistletoe and presents under the tree. Christmas Eve will find me where the love light gleams. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to us here on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or go visit our website, which is www.pd.net. We sell our candy there. We may or may not be selling this uh, ribbon candy at the moment. It's sort of a seasonal candy, and we made it so close to Christmas 2016, we're not sure we could get it up in time. We know that if we did get it up, you wouldn't get it in time for Christmas. So if you're interested in getting some of this after Christmas, post in the comments. We'll see what we can do about getting some online for people to buy if they're interested. Thank you for all your support and your tremendous outpouring of orders and care for us. We really appreciate it. And this is our first video in our new location. I hope you got to see a little bit of it. Thank you. If you ever make it to Tallahassee, we'd love to meet you in person. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And of course, you can always check out our other videos here on YouTube. Christmas Eve will find me Where the love